Unfortunately, though, it's also an industry where fakes are rife and counterfeit fragrances are flooding the market. Have a look at these, for example, six well-packaged look-alike perfumes. Now, we paid only $30 for all of these this morning. Of course, if they were real, we would have paid well over $300. But this counterfeit industry isn't just about being ripped off. There can also be serious side effects from using these fake fragrances because a lot of them are laced with all sorts of questionable ingredients. And Helen Wellings investigates. Hello. Are these are the real perfumes here? Sorry? Factory seconds, are they? These are illegal. The multi-million dollar trade in counterfeit perfumes. It's rife worldwide, and Australian authorities are cracking the whip. Here, arrests during a raid by New South Wales Police Crime Command, which uncovered a Sydney warehouse hiding a million dollars worth of fragrances destined for the black market. To stock dodgy retailers' shelves, market stalls like this, and online scammers. So were these. These cartons contain 1,200 bottles of counterfeit perfumes, Chanel and Tommy Hilfiger, and they've been imported into Australia from China, along with masses of counterfeit soaps, shampoos and toothpastes. But they won't reach the Australian market because Australian customs have seized the lot and eventually they'll be destroyed. Australians are some of the biggest perfume spenders in the world. We splurge $430 million a year on women's and men's fragrances. But counterfeit imports keep flooding in. It's estimated around 10% of our purchases are knockoffs, blatant illegal copies of the genuine perfume. Here's the fake here. There we go. That's the fake. You might think it's OK to buy them to save money. But what you're about to see, and our horrifying test discoveries, should convince you to never buy or wear counterfeit perfume. It is quite a different formulation. This one smells like cat urine. Soon, those laboratory results that will shock. We can find these people, we can track them down, and we have investigators who, as I said, work with us full-time throughout the year. Perfume companies are constantly on the warpath to stamp out fakes, says intellectual property lawyer Stephen Stern of Cause Chambers Westgarth. He represents top designer perfume brands, including Gucci, Cartier, Hugo Boss and Louis Vuitton. They own their trademarks, which are registered at the trademarks office, so that if you use them, you're infringing their trademark rights. They will often own the registered designs of their bottles, so that if you use the shape of bottle the same as theirs, you will be infringing a registered design. They will own the copyright in their packaging, so that to use that packaging, you'll be infringing their copyright. Wait till these things. Factory seconds, are they? Brand owners don't sell factory seconds. That's rubbish. So these are all fake perfumes, the lot of them, selling for around $10, $20, around a tenth of the normal price, and filled with whatever ingredients they might want to put in them. You wouldn't know. These so-called factory seconds are the ones we ingredient tested against the genuine perfumes. The penalties for supplying counterfeits? With a maximum fine of $50,000 per offence, the total fines could be enormous. And in addition to the fines, you're also facing imprisonment, maximum of two years per offence. But what's really sinister? The ringleaders in counterfeit goods, including perfumes, are usually based overseas, with links to organised crimes and terrorism. The first attack in 1993 on the World Trade Centre is irrefutable evidence that that was funded by the sale of counterfeits, amongst other things. Secondly, there's also evidence that there was a training manual for Al-Qaeda found in either Pakistan or Afghanistan, which was encouraging recruits to fund themselves by the sale of counterfeits. Alan Rogers owns this legitimate online discount designer perfume shop. We had French perfume wearers Tracy and Karen blind test two of the most popular fragrances, Coco Chanel and Red Door, a squirt of the cheap counterfeit version on the left arm. No, that one's gone, completely gone from me. It smells like cat wee. So how did you The go genuine the perfumes on their right arms. Um, Two hours later, the fakes had either disappeared or still smelt mm -hmm. vile. So the one yeah. up here is completely gone, there's nothing there at all. Uh -huh. That's the red door. Yep, nothing right. at the all. The fake red door. Yep. And down here, it smells very much like toilet spray. The real ones? The real ones are beautiful. Mm -hmm. 
Now test results comparing the ingredients in fake and real Coco Chanel and Red Door show a vast difference. There's a, a huge difference between the two. Analytical chemist Josie Edwards says the genuine Coco Chanel and Red Door have 100 to 200 compounds, including natural oils, represented by all these peaks. Now compare the genuine Coco Chanel profile with the counterfeit, the genuine Red Door with the fake. The fakes have a fraction of the ingredients. So not only has um, various compounds been emitted, they're there at much lower concentration as well. And apart from goat's urine found in certain fakes, these ones also have some dangerous toxic ingredients. We identified it as um, acetocedrone, which has been known to cause contact dermatitis. Cellophane, and quite often it's actually sticky taped on the edges. Whereas the real item has a much better quality cellophane. If you look at, at these two bottles, one has got a cheap label, whereas that one has got a clear label with the batch number, country of origin. And the genuine packs are embossed. The fakes have a flat label. Perfume colour is different too. And not surprising, fakes often have floating foreign matter. You're applying these products to your body, to your face, to your skin, and the products are often not only of substandard quality, but they're often of um, a very dubious nature. And I'd be very cautious before applying that to uh, myself. Absolutely, that's some good advice. And additional details on that story can be found on our website at 7.com.au slash today tonight, or you can give us a call.